it's time we talk a little bit of history. Well, is this thing a horse or is this like a dragon? Um, I'm thinking this joke has ended. That's what I think it is. Today, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this was a failed joke. So today we're looking at the film D War, or also known as Dragon Wars. So let's talk about it. Let me take you back to a bit of a time period back in the mid 2000s when a lot of films were released on um, home release, where there was DVD and all that stuff. Pick up like a film from your local blockbuster. Keep in mind, this was back in before the rise of the giant. We are the foreign film from Netflix. You return the action movie and my film was on your list, so they automatically sent us out. Duh. I love your movies. No, Angie, it is you I love. <laughs> Over 55,000 titles and you chose mine. That is as wonderful as any love could ever be. There's a movie waiting for you at home. Netflix. Netflix. So, today we're looking at the film that was a bit of a film that you would see quite a lot at Blockbuster. In this case, D-War, a.k.a. Dragon War. What was this film about? Well, it involves like a group of young indivi young uh, individuals that are trying to help like save a woman who in a way has a spirit. The film involves two young people that are in a way the ancestors of two um lovers that had been that are in a way connected to an evil dragon spirit that is want doesn't want its you know good dragon spirit to come back because the evil dragon wants to in a way become all powerful so um a lot of people have said yeah this movie is pretty bad um actually ha heck this film was a it grossed 75 million dollars but it received generally negative reviews heck it even heck it would even like around that time period, it would even get its own reviews on things such as the great <laughs> such as like other reviewers at like when YouTube was first starting out. But today we're gonna give my chance to talk about it. So today, so uh, so honestly, what are my honest thoughts about this? Honestly. Yes, I think the acting is, at times, like, pretty, just, not the greatest. And honestly, I mean, I don't think the acting is that great, at much of, at pretty much, in the fact that it can be going from, like, sometimes they'll have an actor that's just trying to be, like, say, we are taking this serious, and then they'll have one actor who is next to them, just, like, say, I'm being as goofy as possible. So the acting can be quite stilted. But honestly, this film is sort of like a, a Godzilla film in the fact that, well, you hear more for it, hear more for the special effect creatures. <laughs> compared to, like, the human, uh, interactions. I mean, heck, like, later, like, say sometimes in some films, like, whether it was Godzilla King of the Monsters, you'd say, like, well, like, we don't like the character interactions, then suddenly you get more character, uh, character actions, and then you say, well, you didn't even give as much monster actions, and all that, so... Honestly, I gotta say, one of the things that makes this film fun is honestly the fact that we have things that are just strange that are pretty cool looking. 
whether it is the fact that like we have flashbacks where we have like I guess dinosaurs with um metal armors <laughs> And soldiers that have, that have like basically shields and all that. And uh, honestly, like say the, um, like say the disaster sequences in the cities are similar to like say other films. What like such as, like when like say there are helicopters that are chasing. <laughs> The monster. It's sort of almost like, say, Godzilla 1999. Nine, um, or. 98, sorry. Uh, the wrong name of Uh. Or, like, say, heck, even at times, like, there's a sequence where, uh, like, the evil monster, uh, evil snake, a uh, monster, a uh, dragon, or, uh, Baraki, basically he is scaling him, uh, like a, uh, uh, what was it, a building, and... <laughs> Off and later, like, I'd say when it comes to the films, uh, Michael Bay would probably swat and fight. Ooh. He would later use it in, like, one of the, uh, what was it? Transformers 3, I think. But honestly, I gotta say, there's, like, a, there's, like, a lot of moments from this film that are honestly pretty cool. Whether it is the, if, there are some goofy effects. Like, say, the first time young Ethan sees the box. That it is that chooses chooses him, or other moments like say the final showdown. <laughs> How it the you, ya yo. Uh, the good dragon, the good dragon, I mean, the good dragon, um, and I also gotta say that, I mean, oh, here's my honest thoughts, I think this film can be quite a lot of fun. Fatality. I mean, is it great? No, but it's a, uh, like it's a monster movie that you kind of have fun with. That's my honest thoughts on it, man. If you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you if you ha gave you a bit of a chuckle, don't forget to like, share. Hey, you might even hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you can get like an update whenever we get do new videos. And as always, guys, don't forget to keep our popcorn warm, your drinks ice cold. And your eyes on the screen. I shall most definitely be seeing you next time. Later.